So everyone knows as an entrepreneur, the first major thing when you want to start a business you've never done before is the risk involved and fear. Hi guys, my name is Balaji. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And today I'm sharing five important steps to take in starting a business important steps yes I said so the five important steps you have to take this five important steps helped me helped me start Nuva Africa and is still helping me rebrand and revamp the brand today the first step we'll be talking about today is recognizing your strengths and your weaknesses for me my strengths in my business were operations I knew the in and out of operations I knew everything concerning tailoring I could you know handle the tailors I could tell them what and what not to um, do it wasn't like I was going into a business that I was not aware of I was very much aware of what I was going into and it was basically my foundation so it helped me you know understand the business more and then my weaknesses guys I don't like to type I don't like to do the administrative aspect of you know the job and I needed the administrative aspect of the job so I didn't like responding to emails so basically once you understand your strength and you understand your weakness you can manage better you can exist better you can function better and you you would understand you know the aspects as to where you should focus and the aspects um where you need to outsource help or outsource people to help you you know manage that aspect of it also starting small starting small is a very major for me it was very major you know i started small i said with thirty thousand naira if i mean for those of you that don't know yet now you know yeah i said with thirty thousand naira and i was able to grow the business into thousands hundreds of thousands and then by the grace of god millions i've not entered billion but very soon i'll enter billion in jesus name amen so basically my point is start small you would appreciate the business the business will grow organically i wouldn't advise that you're going to starting a business taking loans start as an sme and then grow grow the brand or the business into whatever you would like it to be my second point here would be start with a little business plan and then grow it as needed so you have like targets you have goals you have how much you want to make in the year you have how much you want to make every month you have like you know a budget you have everything and then start so it would be a guide it would be um a gauge it would guide you in terms of your growth even if you don't get to your goal you're still on track it's helping you know that okay you know obolaji i wanted to make half a million at the end of the year and i made 450,000, 480,000. Okay, you know what? Next year, I'm gonna, you know, increase my target. It's important to weigh your progress against your plans. My first business plan wasn't professional. My first year, I started with 30,000 naira and then I made 800 and something K. Tick tock. Because I started small, I understood the process, but I took it one day at a time. And then I had a guide, which was the business plan. And then, boom, my target exceeded my expectations. And that was because I put in the hard work, I put in the energy, I put in marketing, my expertise. Once you, and that's my personal scenario, once you put all these things in place, I think the sky is your limit, basically. So the third point is focus on something you have a passion for. I would say understand the business you're going into before you even venture to go into it. For me, Fashion is my first love. I'll say second love now because I have my first love, my daughter. For me, it was something I had always done. I had always loved. I was going to study in university. I still love it. So even now, during COVID-19, nothing is really moving. People are not really buying. I still love it. And you would only enjoy what you do and love what you do and look forward to doing what you do more when you have a passion for it. My passion is Nova Africa and that's what I live for. I've never had a nine to five in my life. When it's good, you're there. When it's not, you're there. When it's, you know, it's yielding, you're there. When it's not, you're there because there's a passion. And because that passion drives you to keep sitting and keep loving and keep staying and keep doing, knowing that the only thing that is constant in life is change, you will definitely always stay and try to make it work. But on the other hand, if you don't have a passion for what you do, you will probably COVID-19 now, I tell you, right? A lot of entrepreneurs are going to venture into other things. It's just because they don't have a passion for it. 
it's also important to understand the market you're trying to venture into understand what they like understand the designs they love understand what to create for them understand what to manufacture for them it's important you cannot make a crop top for a 45 year old woman she's not going to buy it neither would she wear it also you need to make sure that you have a competitive advantage over others in the same industry as you if not, what makes you significant? You have to have a competitive advantage. It makes you stand out. It makes your brand reputable. It makes your brand remembered. It makes people want, you know, want to come back. People ask, sorry, hi, excuse me. Um, do you where do you bring your things from? From Turkey? Is it from the States? Is it from I'm um, I'm like, um, no, it's made here. I'm still so into like quality. You cannot start a business going to entrepreneurship or even going to fashion without having a competitive advantage. It's very important and it takes you to the next level. And that's what the brand will be known for. So the fourth point is similar to the third point. Understand your target customers and the existing market under those target customers. How, how are you understanding the needs of your client now in this COVID era? You have to understand it. People are not really going now. The few that are going to work are not going to be buying clothes because the economy is not the same and there's a recession those that are working from home are probably going to be in their pjs working from home so what we're we are you know doing and even trying to do more of is basically creating pieces for people to lounge at home we're studying the market we're studying our clients and so understand what your people need right now understand how to reposition whatever you're into to suit the needs of these people the fifth point is don't be afraid to start and if you need help ask that's my fifth point don't be afraid to start and if you need any form of help ask now i think my biggest fear was starting hey where am i going to get the money from so because i had that fear my fear was centered around me failing i kicked ass guys <laughs> i wasn't going to fail i wasn't going to be laughed at i wasn't going to be ridiculed so i had to make sure that I kicked ass. So I kicked ass. I kicked ass. I doubled my game. I doubled my expertise. I doubled my marketing and I doubled my production team. And I think that was my most profitable year in the history of Nova Africa. And it was awesome, you know, and everyone was proud of me. In six to eight months, I had moved the store to its own independent location. And that's what growth is about. And the fear helped me succeed because I knew that, you know what? I have to pay this rent. I have to pay this rent so I'm going to have to do what I have to do and so what I had to do was ensure that my brand was successful my creative juices were flowing so much that I could I didn't know where to put the you know ones that were overflowing if you're afraid speak to someone that has been you know in the game or in the business way longer than you it's very important that you have um, a mentor I have multiple mentors they guide you, you know, they support you, they speak to you. So they guide you, they guide you. They've been there before you. So if you need help, never be afraid to ask. If you need to ask me anything, if you, I mean, need to contact me to ask me anything concerning entrepreneurship, fashion, or what's not, don't be afraid to ask. Because when I started, I didn't have this opportunity. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this and I hope it helps one or two women out there. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.